All right, now that you have all of your keyword volumes and your broadness, it's time to assess the competition. It's time to figure out of these keywords that might be interesting, how competitive are they right now? And how easy would it be for you to rank for them? Now I should note, this is very subjective. There is no science to this, it's just a general idea. And it's partially going to be based on how much your site is already ranking. If it's your first article, it's going to be hardest to rank. So in the beginning, you wanna go after ones that seem to have very low competition. Later on, you can go after more aggressive ones, ones that will be harder to rank for. So you have to kind of determine how much are you ranking already and what sites would you be comfortable going after. So let's hop back into our spreadsheet and I'll give you an idea of how to do this. Okay, back at our spreadsheet, we're gonna add another column for competition. And again, you should already have this. Now I should note, this is very important. Competition has nothing to do with this, all right? So in Keyword Planner, you're gonna see a competition rating. That just tells you how competitive it is to buy ads on this keyword. That gives you an idea if you were going to try to buy placement on Google, how much would you have to pay? How hard would it be to get at the top of those rankings? That competition has nothing to do with how easy or hard it is to rank for the keyword on Google naturally. The only way we can figure that out is to actually go search for these keywords. So if we look for five day water fast, we'll just plug that in now. See what we get. All right. Now mine's coming up first and then this quantified body one. Let's actually make sure that we're in an incognito window and try that again. All right. So we've got the quantified body. We've got me, we've got some pictures, personal excellence, go polymath, but there's no huge, really big sites here, right? There's no massive ones. That said, there is a lot of content about it. So I would go ahead and I would put this in medium. Now five day water fast day by day, which is very specific. Let's see what that gets us. A lot of the same sites, right? I'm up here too, quantified body. This one that has a day by day log of it is up there. This one's probably still medium because fasting is a fairly popular topic. The same thing with results, right? Five day water fast results. It's gonna be about the same articles. Now, what if we do something a little different and we say, what if we just search for fasting? What comes up then? All right, we've got Wikipedia, uh, we've got Telegraph, we have Desiring God, uh, we've got James Clear, Daily Burn, we've got a lot of really, really high uh, value sites here. So this one would be hard. This one would be very hard to rank for. But what about ones that had, let's say a low keyword volume, like water fasting safety? Sure, water fasting safely, why not? Now, here's the interesting thing here. These results that are coming up are telling you how to do a water fast, but none of them actually say how to do it safely. If you look at the titles, strongest effect, water fasting results, long fast, dangerous or beneficial, you know, this is addressing the question, but it's not telling you how to do it safely. There's no article here that says how to safely water fast. And that seems like it should be there. So I would say this has low competition. So just by doing something like that, you can go through and you can figure out what has high, medium, or low competition. Now, one thing that I will note is if you plug in a topic and if you start to get a lot of results from social media, so if you see Reddit posts and Pinterest boards, uh, tweets, anything like that about a topic, that's a really, really, really good sign that there is no competition. Because Google doesn't like pulling from social media sites, it will only pull from them as a last resort. So if you're seeing results from Reddit and Pinterest and stuff, that's not a bad sign, that's a good sign. That means that there's not much competition on this topic and that if you write an article about it, it's gonna have low competition and rank fairly easily. So now that you have your keywords, your broadness, your volume, go ahead and give yourself a rough idea of the competition for each topic.